Okay, Fikes, this should be the last demo for the day. And I think, if I remember correctly, the last demo on this micro SD card. So let's see how we go with this. Yeah, I still use uh, micro SD cards. I don't like the idea of storing it in the cloud and I'm not rich enough to be able to pay pay the um every pay every month for extra storage and if if I run out of money, if I get declined, I'm scared I'm going to lose all my information or I won't be able to get to it. So I'd rather store it on hardware rather than using the cloud. I think the cloud is a bit of a gimmick, uh, an ad, a, a money fucking gimmick. I'd rather pay as I go and just pay for something I know is not going to let me down. I could use uh, hard drives, uh, but they take up more room and I, I'm not able to, um, I might accidentally not save it onto the drive because I make mistakes easily. I'm disabled, so I tend to make sort of mis errors and I don't want to make any errors where I, I forgot I didn't copy and paste a file because I made some stupid slip up. Uh, so I have to do it like this. This is more foolproof almost, uh, you could say. Anyway, enough of that. This is what we're photocopying, folks. Uh, something out of this. It is... An advertisement for Prada, money fucking company, Prada. So let's see how we go with this. It's quite a large, small um, book, magazine, should I say. Quite a small... Um... It's not a, it's a UK edition, I guess. Um, I thought UK had A3 and A4 and all the A series. I know the US doesn't. The US has theirs in Imperial. Uh, metric is what we have here in Australia. Let's see how we go. Yeah, it looks a bit green. Um, I didn't do a background colour for this either. It looks a bit green. Um, I don't like it. Cold. It's cold. It's blendy. That's the word. Blendy. It looks too, too green, green, green. There's no fucking, nothing exciting on there. I'm gonna maybe add yellow. I'm going to. I, I've got to take the hue. Um, not the hue. I'm gonna maybe make that there, and this hue could probably go a bit colder. Prada. Let's see how we go. Yeah, looks green, but it looks a li li lot less blendy. Unfortunately, I can't see the background colour yellow uh, making a difference here. It's still white, still shades sh this white. It looks shit house. Looks like I've chosen a bad one to work with, folks. This Prada one. Uh, I'm going to remove the background colour. There's no use having it if it's not doing anything. I'm going to cool down the hue. Yeah, that's better. This is what we want. This is that kind of nice light, but yet mixed up. It's got a bit of green and blue and purple and a nice mixture of colour in that. That looks brilliant compared with this shit. This green, green and more fucking green. Uh, green with envy. Yeah, that was what drove me away from Luigi, was envy. Because I thought he had everything I wanted and I tried to get in touch with Luigi through the six o'clock news and I was really envious 
of what I thought he had over me, that I couldn't have what he had and he was enjoying himself and it was a real shit, shit, shit storm and unfortunately I didn't weather the shit storm and Luigi ended up being, having to deal with the fallout of what I was doing and I was really envious of Luigi's lifestyle and I never got to realise that I I had it all, I could have had it all with him um, and now I have to fucking uh, try to get on the 6 o'clock news on uh, Channel 9 proving to be really, really tough, really difficult trying to get the TV channel interested in me, a photocopier artist and I'm trying to get interested in, get them interested in my work uh, and I just don't seem to find any anything happen folks it's like crickets like the old proverbial tv crickets chirp 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 yeah that that sort of sound that looks i think i made it a bit too dark um i think i forgot to undo it still looks quite good promising but yeah, I really miss Luigi now. I don't know where he is, folks. I don't know where the fuck he's got to. I really wish I knew. I wish I knew where he is. Because I get so lonely without him. I really miss him. I really wish that I could be together with him. I really wish I didn't have to be on my own all the time and trying to scratch away and make something happen when it's not happening and people are not interested that people in the in the media don't care about little people like myself who are just trying to make something happen so you know trying to make trying to repair the damage that I did when I was young and now I'm 51 I could have married him when I was 19 but when I was 19 I wasn't mature enough I was too I was trying, I thought I had to grow up, basically. I thought I had to grow up. That's what I was thinking at the time. I was not adult enough to enjoy the things that Luigi had. And that people, yeah, and I thought he might have also had a relationship with someone who didn't even exist, but I thought may exist. So I had fears. I was, I was a coward, folks. I was, I was suffering from cowardice. And now I have to pay the price. You know, I have to pay the fucking price for what I did. You know, the old saying, fuck, suck it up, buttercup. I have to fucking suck it up now. I have to suck it up and try my best to make something happen. But it's really, it's proven to be really difficult. And I'm trying my best here at the photocopier to make something happen. And I know Luigi loved me. I know he did. I know he didn't have anyone else. That was a ma that was pure imagination, pure pure catastrophization, folks. I was catastrophizing. That's basically what I was doing. I was catastrophizing. That's what happens when you catastrophize, folks. Is things just go horribly wrong, and you just have to fucking uh, pick up the pieces later on in life and try to fucking make the future something. You, know, you try to make your future bright, even though your past is dictating your current situation and it's making your your indefinite future a mess. It's still a mess. It's still a mess, folks. You know, I haven't found Luigi. I haven't had my happily ever after yet. I'm not going to give up on it, folks. I'm going to keep ploughing away at what I do best: photocopy art. Because Luigi is into photocopiers as well. So we have so much in common with each other. It's not funny. It's heartbreaking to think that despite having these, this commonality, we have found ourselves on opposing, opposite sides. I'm gonna, just going to cut that down there. Actually, I want the word Prada on the picture. I'm going to try another one. But yeah, it really hurts to be away from my friend. And he, like, he's a friend. He's a friendly, loving sort of a guy. He's a dis delight. He's really got his head screwed on. He's a real, absolute... I 
couldn't want another man, folks, except apart from him. I couldn't. He's the one. He's the one for me. He represents the best in in a male. You know, he's not. He's not. He's he's, a, he's brave. He's he's manly. He's masculine without being. Um, he's masculine without being a an asshole. He's not like a macho man. He's a a caring, loving sort of a guy, and he's not macho. He's not macho. He's not misogynist. He's not a sexual abuser. He's not a. He's not a. Please, 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 please. Come on, Dario. Please, 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 please. Come on. That's what I had from a man I dated outside of Luigi. He wanted me to satisfy him sexually, and he kept pleading with me like he was some kind of fucking coward. It was such a fucking disgust. I forgot which one it was. I think I know which one it was, but I won't mention him. But he was really a disgust. Like all the men that I dated, all the men that I had, that I... I'm going to use this one after all, folks. This one's got the word Prada just there, so it's as well as there. So we're going to cut it down. But basically, that man was just pleading with me like a fucking... Like he was a, he was a small little insignificant little pissant of a man and he was just pleading with me and pleading with me like his life depended on it so he had blue balls so what what a fucking wuss saying please please come on please please in so many words that was a while ago so it was amazing i could still remember pretty well what what that bitch had to say trying to get me to get him to satisfy him really it's disgusting and I went through heaps of that shit because I didn't go with Luigi I played it safe sometimes that's the thing folks when you often often when you play something really safe you end up getting yourself into danger like that so if you're a woman you could end up being in a sexually abusive relationship like I had been or relationships so, you know, I was meant to be with Luigi. None of those horrors. I had, had like, you know, they were really bad boyfriends. They were horrible. I've been sexually abused on multiple, by multiple men. So I'm not happy with what I did to Luigi. That I should have been with him, not them. They can all go fuck themselves. If they want to fucking plead 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 like that they can just take their sexual abuse elsewhere because I'm not going to tolerate that kind of treatment you know that's just not on that is a crime yes if you remember me folks you stupid assholes from the 90s especially you and your fucking sexual coercion and abuse go fuck yourselves take your fucking sexual abuse elsewhere I hope you fucking never marry all of you I hope you never marry. I hope you fucking will be sexually frustrated for the rest of your days. You don't do that to women, you fucking sluts. You don't do it. You don't fucking abuse a woman. When she says no, she means no. You know, don't fucking... You're not, you're not fucking real men. You're fucking idiots. You're fucking wusses. Cowards. You know, you fucking... You might as well have no fucking dick at all, you fucktards. You all know, you know... You remember me? I'm the one who liked photocopiers and streetlights. Yeah, you remember me, folks. Yeah, you remember me. You're all sexual abusers, pretty much. You all wanted to bloody take me... F yeah, there's only one guy in the group that didn't sexually abuse me, but he was g tried his hand at getting romantic with me later on when I broke up with him, so he too is in the same... Co yeah, they're, they're just coercions. They're just fucking stupid, disgusting men. They just don't have any fucking respect, you know. Not not only for them for the woman, but for themselves for being such fucking cowards. They don't. They just want to force themselves. They want to make it that you know. They want to make you feel guilty. Don't do it, folks. Don't do it, girls. Let those men suffer. If they want blue balls, well, if they got blue balls, well, so what they do? 
So, you know, they can't tolerate... Yeah. That's why I'm going to... Luigi and I... Luigi's not like that. And Luigi and I, we're saving it for marriage. You know, we, we, we're both Christian people and we believe in not only the um, Easter and the Christmas message, uh, we believe that sex before marriage is not acceptable. And Luigi's not a coercer, coercive sort of a guy. He respects me. I know he does. My, my intuition is telling me he's safe. He's a safe man. He's a loving person, a caring person. He puts the woman first as a man should. And that's it. I love you, Luigi. I'm sorry what I did to you. I really love you and those men. I hate them. I hate them all. They can go fuck themselves because you're the only one I care about, Ouija, and I need your love. I love you, Ouija. Yeah, got to go.